Fish. Feed and grow. Uh, grow and feed fish? Uh, fish! This game is about being a fish. It is an early access survival sim game with the goal of surviving as a fish. Which, you know, might not sound too hard, and it isn't, if you're a real gamer. But I'm not a real gamer. I am a part-time reviewer. So, even the easy difficulty of this game turned out to be a challenge for me. But when I saw this... A gauntlet between me and the developer, Old Blood, was thrown down. Old Blood was completely unaware of it because I essentially saw them from across a crowded room, noticed they were wearing a Jurassic Park t-shirt, and I started pointing and shouting at them while the uh, latest Imagine Dragons song played over the sound system too loud for anyone to carry on a conversation without also shouting, so I'm shouting over loud music and other people shouting at someone who has no idea I'm calling them out, and if they did notice, they'd just be confused. About as confused as a new person to this channel is at this non sequitur. Basically, me and Dinosaur Games have got a history. So when I saw this image, I strapped in and did my best to get good. Fish has four locations. Three of them have a survival mode. The fourth is still in development as of the editing of this video. But each location with a survival mode has a difficulty setting. And within that setting, you can play as one of three fish to start out. Each fish has its own parameters and ingrained challenge. The bleak, for example, is inherently easier than the pike because the Bleak's adult phase is complete at level 2 and requires only one reproduction phase, while the Pike has to make it all the way to level 7 and complete two reproduction cycles. Uh, hey, uh, future Eric here. That uh, last thing I said was incorrect. The only reason I felt like I had to do two reproduction cycles on the Pike was because I had let my babies die. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, all that means is that you have to survive and beat each fish in a location on every difficulty if you want to unlock all the fish for that location. So, in order to play as the dinosaur, I had to play and beat a completely different game mode. Deathmatch. Which I didn't even check until I was in the process of writing the script for this video. So, I had to shift gears and start playing the deathmatch mode instead. This mode also has a difficulty selection on every location. However, Deathmatch takes away the need for monitoring hunger and growing from scratch. You're thrown in at the adult phase and your only goal is to level up and eat as much as possible, which grants you points that you can then spend on playing as a new fish. I played on the easy difficulty at first, because I am a reviewer and I only need the base experience to form a half-baked opinion. After some experimenting, it became apparent that the best way to gain points was to stay as the free fish. Bilbus. Billy Bass starts with the gang ability, which does exactly what it sounds like it does. Having a small group of bros with you makes taking on larger fish an option. And once you're big enough for that to become the thing you do, it doesn't take long for you to max out on points and become the biggest fucking thing in the ocean. I stopped at just over level 500. It didn't seem like I was getting any bigger, but it's possible that I was. I just ran out of patience. You see, I ran into what might be a glitch, or it might be a feature. My theory is that it's a feature. At the moment, the game requires that there be at least one Megalodon in play at any given time. So when you kill the Megalodon, a new one is spawned in nearby. So you just eat that one. And a new one is spawned, so you beat that one too. And the cycle continues. I tried this tactic in a harder difficulty, and I got pretty far. But I got cocky and died before I could prove the theory in harder difficulties, really. I think it will probably still work, but I'm not the one who's gonna find that out. I got shit to do, like play as that dinosaur that sent me off on this quest to begin with. By the way, uh, this thing isn't a dinosaur at all. It's uh, a dinosaur-like lizard. It's a very important distinction. You see, back in like the prehistoric dinosaur ages and whatnot, there was pre, there was dinosaurs and there was dinosaur-like lizards, and the dinosaur-like lizards and dinosaurs are, you know, have a similar ancestor, but they're not the same thing. I also tried out the biggest dinosaur-like lizard you can play as, which was fine. After getting to level 500 in this game. The excitement of being a cool drowned T-Rex just didn't really appeal that much. So, um, mission accomplished, I guess. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching if you did. 
You know, my friend tells me I should promote myself more, so this one's for you, Luke. I have a Twitter where I post video updates and off-topic game opinions. And if you like the weird videos that I make, tell your friends about it. Uh, you know, if you like the weird video, maybe they will too. It's how sharing works. I, I make the video, you post it around online so I don't have to do it myself.